Power 95.3 Orlando's number one for commercial free hip hop. We have the first lady, Miss Michelle Obama, on the line. Hi, Ricky. It's Michelle Obama. Oh, wow. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Doing great. It's election day. It is. I just want to thank you. I mean, this probably has to be one of the busiest days of your life, and you're taking the opportunity to give us a call here at Power 95.3. Yeah, it is my honor to be on, on the phone with you on this most important day to make sure that everybody who's listening is getting out there to vote before the polls close at 7 p.m., and it's so important for young people. Um, to make their voices heard. So we, you know, it's worth the time to get on the line and tell people that, you know, every vote is going to make the difference in what will be a close election. Uh, yes, I agree. Um, you've been the closest to the president for the longest. There's people out there right now that still probably haven't made a decision. Why should they trust President Obama this term? Well, despite the rhetoric that you've heard coming from other places, the fact of the matter is, is that this president has led this country out of one of the worst financial crises that we've seen in our lifetime. When Barack took office, the economy was losing 800,000 jobs a month. Uh, the auto industry was in crisis. People were losing their homes. Uh, and since Barack took office, we've seen uh, forward progress. We've seen consecutive months, 32 consecutive months of job growth, more than 5.5 million jobs created under this president because of Barack's action with the auto bailout. Uh, the auto industry is back on its feet, and more than a million jobs were saved as a result. Uh, we didn't have health care in this country, and people were losing their home because they were paying uh, medical costs that they couldn't afford. Now we have historic health reform, and people now can get basic preventative care. They can't be denied coverage because they've got a pre-existing condition. If you recall when Barack took office, we were in two wars, right? Mm -hmm. We ended the war in Iraq. Under his leadership, we took out Osama bin Laden, and we're bringing our troops home from Afghanistan, and we have focused so much more so than many other administrations on making sure our veterans and military families get the benefits they've earned. You know, so I, I could go on and on, but we are in a better place in this country because my husband is in office. And the question that people have to ask themselves if they haven't decided, are we going to give up all this progress and go back to the same policies that got us into this mess in the first place? Because that's really the choice in the election, because that's, that's what's being offered. You know, either we keep moving forward or we go backwards to, you know, cutting taxes for wealthy people. So the choice for me is clear, particularly as a woman, yeah. right? Because this is also about our right to make choices about our bodies and our health care. Mm. Uh, so I'm, I'm in this for my daughters. Uh, and all the young women out there who lo whose lives will be affected because there are people out there who want to get rid of Planned Parenthood, which mm. is the only way many young women have access to basic preventative care. You know, so y the choices are clear. I, and again, I could go on. How has uh, family life actually been for you in the last couple of weeks? I mean, I know you just celebrated your 20th anniversary on the day of the debate. How did you mm -hmm. feel when our president just put the spotlight on you right then and there to start it all off? Oh, I just thought, no, don't use your two minutes on me. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very sweet. And uh, family life is good. I mm -hmm. mean, we try to do our best. You know, we've got two daughters, one in high school, one in middle school. And we work very hard to balance and make sure they have normal lives and we keep the focus on them. So in between all this campaigning, you see, you know, we're trying to go to games and parent-teacher conferences and we're coming home and doing homework and, you know, uh, making sure they're studying and, you know, doing what they're supposed to do because in the end, you know, that's what we do as parents, right? All mm -hmm. over the country, our kids, the reason why we're in this office is to pass on a better country to our kids, all of our kids. Yes, man. Well, I know you don't have too much time. My last question is you and the president have been here a lot lately, right here in Central Florida. Why is Florida so important? And for the people that are not voting and might think their vote might not count, why is it important? important for them to vote. I was in Orlando last night with Ricky Martin, had a great rally, but Florida is what we call a battleground state, which means that, you know, it can go either way, either Republican or Democrat. And the president is really selected because of what, what are called electoral votes. And whoever wins a state, whether they win by 1% or one vote, they get all the electoral votes that go along with that state. Florida is one of those key states. And the margin of victory in many of these elections are very close. Um, in North Carolina, last uh, a presidential election, Barack won that state by about 14,000 votes. 
which breaks down to only about five votes per precinct. Mm. You know, so you're in all these battleground states, the margin of difference could be five people or 36 people or 20 wow. people or 80 people. And that's what I try to tell people, particularly young people who might be thinking, ah, well, well who cares if I vote? Mm-hmm. Well, we all know five, 10, 20 people in our lives who didn't vote, who might not vote. And that could be the difference in this. That will be the difference in this election. So that's why it's important. If you haven't voted, get up right now and go. Go stand on that line. And if you have to wait two hours, so be it, because that's, you know, our, our responsibility in a democracy. And if we don't vote, then we're basically telling other folks, you can make the decisions about my lives and I, I won't even play a part. You heard our first lady, Miss Michelle Obama. OK, give them a brief description of how the polls work if they get there before seven o'clock. And of course, the polls close at seven o'clock. How does that work if they're still in line? If you get to the polls by 7 p.m. and you're online, even if it's a long line, even if it's going to take you two hours to get through that line, you can vote as long as you're online by 7 p.m. Nobody can kick you off the line and say, oh, we're closed. They can't close until everybody that's online at 7 p.m. votes. So that's important to know people should bring IDs, anything with your signature photo. Uh, your photo ID does not include your signature. If it doesn't bring one, uh, an ID that does include your your signature, like a debit card, anything like that. Gotcha. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day and let us know exactly what we need to do to vote today. We appreciate you, Miss Michelle Obama. Thank you, Ricky. You have a good day, okay? All right, you too. Let's make it happen. America. Yes.